What are we doing today? <laughs> We're going to Robindale. Where's that? Uh, in Victoria. Near the Murray River, yeah, right? Yeah, and you're crossing the border. Ooh. Oh no. You Too must never go there. <laughs> Oh, there might be the really old way to go down the hill. There's now, now there's stairs over there, right? Um, you can get down to the same place like that. I don't know, it looks kind of murky. Could be nice. Looking at cool things today. We've made a dummy mistake, eh, Briss? Thank you for that I didn't get us lost. Yeah, no, okay, we're off, we're off track now. We've got to spend some time getting back to the road. But we're going to go and have a look at this waterfall first. Um, worth it actually this is pretty pretty cool <laughs> yeah getting some supplies yeah. apparently this is very naughty parking on the grass like this especially on a day like today this is how bush fires start says Brit I wish every bench was like this one Brit with its own sunroof <laughs> for decadence this is a sea lake, a town with a real fighting spirit. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. I want to come and stay here someday. Freedom from the United Australia Party, please. Sport and craft. I thought those sorts of hobbies were mutually exclusive. <laughs> Where are you going, Jacob? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Going over the border. At least that's what I think we're doing. I think it's that sign says something for you, Jacob. Oh, it's New South Wales. Yeah. The Murray River. Dinner and a show, eh, Brett? Down here on the Murray? Yeah, pretty good. What do we call this place? Houston. Yeah? A town with a real fighting spirit. <laughs> we did it again. We got all the entrees. Who knows? We're on a bike. Going exploring in Robin Vale. Our breakfast place this morning was closed, so we had to improvise. Wouldn't that be nice? A house boat on the Murray. Certainly a house favourite. The Robin Vale homestead. Forward planning, got some salad here. For, yep. On the banks of the Murray here in Swan Hill. Karen and Jacinta will be very proud of us having learnt this game now finally. Brit's on her way back to her watering hole. Watering hole? That's more of a food hole. Well yeah. Been excited for this the whole trip. Some might say this is the reason why she planned her trip. <laughs> Another addition to the glorified food blog. We wouldn't have it any other way. Yep, at uh, Java Spice here. We've got some mee goreng, a duck curry, the tempeh. I think we'll have a good bike ride in the morning. We're here at Lake, uh, what is it? Vogue, Lake Vogue. They said on the brochures that it was going to be windy. They weren't wrong. Brit says, I'm not allowed to go mountain biking if I get sunburned today. I'm not allowed to get sunburned today. Crack the trains. Crack the trains. This is the number plate sign that I made when we moved to Portland in 2018 out of a who gives a crap toilet paper box. Honestly, it's hysterical how long it's managed to survive. what it would have been like inside one of these Catalina flying boats. Pretty mad. It's so noisy apparently as well. Very thin aluminium walls. So this is Brit's Nana's favourite location and we're about to find out why. <laughs> some of the trails here in Swan Lake. This one goes on a single line all the way out to town to another road. 
but I don't think I quite have enough time to finish it. The round trip will be about 30, 35 kilometers. So I'm gonna to have to turn back now, unfortunately. How good is pasta? I was going to go for another bike ride tomorrow, but I've been afflicted by the curse of Swan Hill again. Both my tires are full of the little spikes from last summer. So that's a bus thing. This is Omar's choice of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> With whipped cream. I'm, uh, I love you, but no. <laughs> it's shaping up to be another real Rob Thomas featuring Santana day. All your hopes and dreams, eh, Brett? Once again, we find ourselves in Wichipu. with a real fighting spirit. <laughs> and it has a train line going straight through the middle of it. What are we doing out here, Brett? Paying my respects. <laughs> oh, is that what this is? Fighting Yeah. This is uh, some of uh, Brett's ancient relatives here. Ancient. grandfather, What's your fun fact about this place again? Highest pub to people ratio in the country. Apparently. Back to the scene of the crime where we found our best find the $300 rod and gun jersey. We're back in Warrnambool. It is much colder than at the Murray River. <laughs> so we've had to do a wardrobe change. Like, I like the warm weather for a change, Brett. That's why we go on holiday. <laughs> 